The bacteria that I chose was meningitis. It's important to know that there are three types of meningitis, bacterial, viral, and fungal. I will be mainly focusing on meningococcosema, which is bacterial. Meningococcosema is the more dangerous and deadly illness called by Neisseria meningitidis. When Neisseria meningitidis bacteria enter the bloodstream and multiply, the damage the walls of the blood vessels and cause bleeding into the skin and organs. Meningococcosema is very dangerous and can be fatal. In fatal cases, deaths can occur in as little as a few hours. In non-fatal cases, permanent disabilities can include amputations or severe scarring as a result of skin grafts. Symptoms The symptoms of bacterial meningitis can appear quickly or over several days. Typically, they develop within three to seven days after exposure. Infants younger than one month old are at higher risk for severe infection. In newborns and infants, the classic symptoms of fever, headache, and neck stiffness may be absent or difficult to notice. The infant may appear to be slow or inactive, irritable, vomiting, or feeding poorly. In young children, doctors may also look at the child's reflexes, which can also be a sign of meningitis. Effects High fever, headache, and stiff neck are common symptoms of meningitis in anyone over the age of two years. These symptoms can develop over several hours, or they may take one to two days. Other symptoms may include nausea, vomiting, discomfort, looking into bright lights, confusion, and sleepiness. In newborns and small infants, the classic symptoms of fever, headache, and neck stiffness may be absent or difficult to detect. Prevention Keeping up to date with the recommended immunizations is the best defense. Maintaining healthy habits, like getting plenty of rest and not coming into close contact with people who are sick, can also help. There are vaccines for three bacteria that can cause meningitis. Neisseria meningitidis, Streptococcus pneumoniae, and Hepophilus influenza type B. It is also important to note that there are vaccines for meningococcal meningitis. Treatment Bacterial meningitis can be treated with a number of effective antibiotics. It is important that treatment be started early in the course of the disease. Appropriate antibiotic treatment of the most common types of bacterial meningitis should reduce the risk of dying from meningitis to below 15%, although the risk is higher among the elderly. Bacterial meningitis in other countries Many countries suffer from endemic meningococcal disease primarily in children under the age of 5 at an annual attack rate of about 1 to 3 per 100,000 of the population. Some of these countries, mostly in the developing world, suffer from repeated epidemics of meningitis. In temperate regions, the number of cases increases in winter and spring. Serogroups B and C together account for a large majority of cases in Europe and the Americas. Several local outbreaks due to Neisseria meningitis serogroup C have been reported in Canada and the US and in Spain. Major African epidemics are associated with Neisseria meningitidis serogroup A, which is usually the cause of meningococcal disease in Asia. Interesting facts. Epidemic meningitis has been present on the African continent for about a hundred years. The disease prevails in the sub-Saharan meningitis belt. Epidemics there occur in the dry season, December to June, dying out during the intervening rainy season. Epidemics usually take place in irregular cycles every 5 to 12 years.